All right, where we last left off, I was running cables to my XY motors, and we discovered that this cable is short by it looks like about like eight inches or so. So tonight, I'm gonna hack this apart. We're gonna splice in an extension so that we can get all the way to that motor. And hopefully that gets us a hell of a lot closer to having a functioning Maslow again. Let's do this. Alright, we got the heat shrink off. This is now just loose on here. So the next step is going to be cutting and splicing each of these cables with a bit of an extension. And what I'm going to do to make sure I don't mix anything up, I mean obviously black goes to black, orange goes to orange, red goes to red, etc, etc. But I'm going to just do them one at a time. Because that's going to make my life a hell of a lot easier to not have to be double checking all of that. So hopefully this goes pretty well and pretty quickly. Okay, so we've got our left motor wired up. Z-axis is still hanging loose for the time being. I will get that set up at some point in the future. Um, we've got our USB cable running over to El Computadora. We've got both LED lights on the motor shield so that means that we're getting both power and communication from the computer and if you look even closer you can see in fact that it's picked up the Maslow on COM port 4. So just to simply test this I'm just going to jog it 100 millimeters to the left. And we have success. Motor that obviously should be working is working. And this motor that I rewired is also working. And it looks like, yeah, they're moving at the same speed. So we are good. XY is all set. Top beams in place. I have my communication in place. Now it's just a matter of getting my Z exit set up. Hallelujah. I think I'm really close now. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this shorter installment of the Super Maslow series. In our next episode, we'll be looking at getting that meticulous Z-axis mounted up, and boy, am I excited for that. I'll catch you all later.